Now I'm going to show a clinical case which in fact uh, was obscure to me. Patient are uh, 18 years of age. I would like to draw your attention that he already has second local recurrence in the 11th in, in, of the right 11th rib uh, back in 2017 there was first um, in, in 15 2015 since the primary bone tumor was first detected there was uh, radiotherapy and uh, surgical treatment and uh, there were two relapses two recurrences in 2017 and the second in 2019 so we see at the moment the samples of resection uh, of second relapse where you can see spindle cell predominantly tumor with completely different, uh, differently directed clusters or bundles of cells with moderate polymorphism. And in this uh, situation, uh, almost nothing uh, reminds us of classical round cell tumors, X-ray at the moment it was it was not provided before surgery x-ray of primary tumor i mean was not there on ihc of this second recurrence we see uh, foci of mem membrane staining of cd99 very high, I would say, certain uh, elevation in KI 67, and diffuse, but not very significant, not as significant as we usually observe in classical monophase synovial sarcoma, expression of uh, TLE1. We know that TLE1 is quite a sensitive marker, but it's not spe as specific as we want it to be, because its uh, expression of different intensity can be observed in different uh, types of tumors. In this particular case, uh, to exclude spindle cell synovial sarcoma, we performed FISH uh, for uh, and uh, it was not detected, a uh, rearrangement of SS18, and uh, it was not there. By that time, we already received the slides, I mean, um, samples of the primary tumor. And when we saw the primary tumor material, then uh, the puzzle started to arrange somehow. Here you can see something which is similar to a small cell uh, blue tumor quite many roundish and oval nuclei, myxoid stroma, and if you uh, look closer, then the nuclei do not look monomorphic, but it's from uh, weak to moderate uh, polymorphism with mitosis. Subsequently, this particular situation reminded especially if you uh, take into account the primary tumor localization in the rib in a young patient, uh, actually an adolescent. In the, the morphology, especially it was um, important in the second recurrence, very significant spindle-like spindle cell pattern. We could suppose that it's a non-differentiated round cell uh, sarcoma. But as at that period of time, we didn't have any uh, opportunity for fish. So we decided to go uh, just a, a by exclusion method. So we did fish of uh, rearrangement in EU1 and uh, cis, which was uh, actually, both of them were negative. So 
we uh, just uh, took together the clinical manifestations and immu immune phenotype and uh, histology, and we suppose that it's a uh, rearranged sarcoma, a small blue round cell tumor. Uh, you can see epidemiology of this particular type of tumor. Uh, this is uh, from Avidsol Institute. And uh, we see that uh, usually it happens in male patients with the median of 16 years. Localization is absolutely different. This slide shows spectrum uh, of morphological uh, patterns which can be observed in such type of B-core rearranged round cell sarcomas. This is round cell morphology, which we saw actually in the uh, primary tumor, uh, or spindle cell morphology, and biphase, biphasic morphology. Also, there can be specific for this type of rearrangement surrogate antibody, which helps to detect the product of a chimeric gene. And what is even more important, in these tumors, we can also observe a significant expression of TLE1, which in the uh, diff diagnosis uh, makes, uh, makes it uh, just a diff diagnosis with synovial-like sarcoma. Also, this type of tumor uh, is um, also has significant expression of cyclin D1. It's typical of this tumor, which is not uh, uh, typical of other sarcomas, bone sarcomas, with specific rearrangements. And also, we can see expression of a SAT2, which again reminds us of non specific nature of this marker. So, once again, uh, summing up everything that I wanted to say above. What is important about uh, such type of uh, big or rearranged sarcomas? First of all, this is pediatric and young adult population mainly, male, predominantly male. It localizes in uh, pelvic and long bones. Also, we should say that uh, we have tumors mm, in uh, rearrangements with other fusion partners uh, because of interesting rearrangements in uh, HDS high-grade endometrial uh, stromal sarcoma. This is what we, we, we observe. And also it's important to once again focus your attention on the so-called overlap with morphology as well as the immune phenotype with synovial sarcoma. I mean spindle cell and low differentiated.